Picture it this way. You're working on a project and you want to access it from multiple devices like your PCs or laptops. You use GitHub to store your code in the cloud and then download it to your machines. But when you try to run the code, you may run into some errors depending on your machine. This can be wrong Python interpreter version, no needed libraries or wrong library version. And configuring it all is such a pain. If only there was some folder which could store all of the interpreter and library information for you. And guess what? There actually is. It's called Virtual Environment or WENV and it gets things going. Welcome to my video. Today I'll be discussing what is WENV, why do we need it and how to use it. Let's go! Alright, so what is a virtual environment? In theory it is an isolated environment for your project which means that uh, the project will work uh, no matter on which machine it runs, it will work either way and uh, there won't be any difference because it is an isolated environment and it will have like everything isolated from your machine. And in reality virtual environment is just a folder which has some more folders, which have some more folders, which have some more and more and you are probably just sitting there and wondering what is this and how am I supposed to understand it. But I will explain it. Uh, let's start from the first folder here. It's called scripts or bin. It depends on your operating system. Scripts if on Windows, bin if on Linux. In this folder you will have all the files that you need to activate your virtual environment. Uh, because you can activate and deactivate your virtual environment like anytime you want. So these are the files that will help to activate your virtual environment. And also here is stored a copy of the Python interpreter which runs your code. The next folder include contains C headers that compile Python code. You don't actually need to know what it is exactly. You don't need to uh, get deeper down into it because like you won't need to use it whatsoever. But if you would like to get down deeper, you may look it up on the internet. And the third folder is lib. In this folder you have all the packages you have uh, like to your project, including the default packages and external packages. Default packages are like pip, random mass and all of that stuff. And external packages are like pygame, numpy, pytmx, pytwinning, etc. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the location of these files and folders isn't uh, like this in basically in real virtual environment, it's just for your visual appeal. The only thing that is, it it's uh, any virtual environment has these three folders uh, scripts include lib and this one file called pywenf.config which I actually don't know what it does. Ah, that's what it is. Well, noted. So yeah, that's basically uh, what the WENF contains and what it actually is. Alright, that's clear. But why do we need a virtual environment? Well, we need it in cases when we need to transfer some project from one machine to another. For example, you have a project on your PC and you want to transfer it on your laptop. But when you, tr when you will try to run it, you need to basically configure and set all of the like PyCharm libraries and everything like that. You need to set it up from the beginning. And it usually takes a lot of time and effort. And it's better to use virtual environment for you to set everything up completely like very, very easy. Uh, but keep in mind that uh, by setting up PyCharm, I mean setting up all of the libraries, downloading all of the needed libraries, all the needed library versions and setting a correct Python interpreter version. And also uh, we need to use uh, basic virtual environment when we have our project and uh, for example we may have differences in uh, libraries. And what I mean by that? 
for example, we may have uh, a wrong Python interpreter version on our another machine. For example, here is Python 3.8 and here is Python 2.7. The code written here will not run here. So we may get an error of wrong Python interpreter version. No libraries that we need. So the libraries that we need is absent and we need to download it. And what what is basically the worst is wrong library version because downloading library versions is incredibly hard. It's just like a huge pain. So uh, it keeps up. It keeps us from basically doing that. And uh, as I already said, to solution environment, you won't have any of those errors because the libraries are down downloaded exactly into the external packages folder here. Like the, there will be folders with each of the library and all of that information. So you basically like carry to GitHub or carry with you on the USB everything that uh, you'll ever need for your project. And what's better, it will be in the same folder as your project actually is. So that is why do we need to use a virtual environment. Now I'll, I'll show you an example of uh, how it can be made and used in real life on a real project. And by the way, if you are not familiar like with Python and you came from the C background or any other language, you, sh you should still watch how it works because mostly there will be like only console comments and I'll be explaining basically and showing how all of this looks in real life. So let's get right to the practice. Alright, and now I'll show you how it all basically works on practice and how do you create a virtual environment. As an example, I'm going to use our tile-based game project, link to which is down below if you want to begin this project. Uh, and now we'll create a virtual environment here, download all the libraries we use to the virtual environment, and I'll basically explain more of how it works and basically how it should work. And so I got my notebook here because I obviously can't remember anything uh, and uh, basically what do you need to get your own virtual environment is firstly just to make sure type command pip install virtual and oops and uh, usually this is installed on uh, most Python versions but you still should check it because if you don't have it installed nothing will work as you can see, your requirement is already satisfied, so that's great. And now we use a standard console command make dir. We call it went. If you don't know what it does, it basically makes an empty directory, and that's, that's the name of the directory. And uh, when you create it, you need to make sure you are in your project folder. I am. I am in my tile-based game folder. What, what, is, what is this? Okay, I don't need it. Uh, so, okay, so I type enter. And as you can see, if I refresh it, I've got a new empty folder called WENF. And now to initialize a virtual environment right to that folder, what we need to do is type, uh, I think it was python hyphen m WENF and then again WENF. Okay, and what it does, and by the way, sometimes you may want to put Python 3 here if Python like doesn't work. So this command uh, just initializes the virtual environment, and this is the folder we initialize it to. So that's because, like, that's why we have two same names here. So this is the folder, and this is a command to get the one. And when I press enter, it will all freeze, and it will take like maybe two to three minutes to create a virtual environment. So I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, alright, so as you can see it creates the virtual environment. Now if I refresh our project, we have a virtual environment and as I already explained it, we have include, lib and scripts because I am on Windows and this strange folder. Yeah, uh, as you can see scripts we have which comments, we have activate uh, and uh, like Python interpreters. All of that in lib we have for now site packages like pip, pip like 2.0, package resources, and all of that kind of kind of stuff. And uh, when we add uh, libraries to there, it will change. I'll show you right now. This folder is for now empty because we don't have any site package libraries. All right, and uh, firstly to basically. 
activate your virtual environment, you need to go to a scripts folder and activate it. And uh, before I do that, I want to show you something. See, uh, for now, if I try to run my code, I won't be able to run it because I specifically installed Pygame from my computer to show you the difference of virtual environment. So now to activate... <coughs> so I'm sorry. <coughs> okay. So now to activate a virtual environment, you need to go to a folder called WANF or anyhow you call it the virtual environment folder. This is a command to go there on Windows. It's CD and the folder. See, you are in this folder and then you go again, CD, scripts, and you go to the scripts folder and then you need to activate a virtual environment. And uh, that means just like doing this file. This activate file just activates it all. So you just type here, ac oops, activate. And as you can see, this thing appeared. It means that we are in our virtual environment and it's already activated. So uh, now we basically type cd to dots and we type that to exit a folder. We type that twice to go to our main folder. And now if we try to run our code, nothing changed because we don't have any libraries in our virtual environment. So we type pip install pygame. And we in, are installing currently Pygame, but keep in mind you need to install it when you have the WANF thing written here. Because otherwise it's just going to install it to your computer and not to the folder. And as you can see, when we installed it, very fresh, uh, include files appeared, a lot of them. Um, and also in the lib section you will see Pygame and Pygame version to dictionaries. So we install Pygame right to the directory. Alright, but now when I try to run my code, because like the only thing I, I was lacking basically on my computer was Python, I had all of the other libraries, I will still get an error because I don't have Pytwinning. But I have Pytwinning on my computer. And the thing is here, uh, when you create a virtual environment, it does not take any libraries that you have already installed on your computer. It's just like you need to start it from the beginning, like so it's like it's empty. And you need to download it all of it into there. So we type pip install pytweening, and it's currently installed in our folder. And then we type pip install pytmx because we also use that in our game project. Okay, so now it's installed, and if you can check out the lib file, see pygame, pytmx, and pytweening. And now if I try to run my file, <coughs> as you can see it works, no errors whatsoever, the game works perfectly fine, we can walk, we can shoot, and everything works great. Alright, and now uh, I, I want to show you the difference between virtual environment and no virtual environment. If I deactivate it, and by the way to do it you don't need to be in the scripts folder, you just type in deactivate, oops, not here, virtual environment is gone, and now when you try to run your game you'll still get the same error because you don't have Pygame on your computer. So, so we again go to CD, when CD scripts and then activate and now it's activated and uh, one more thing I want to show you uh, you probably saw if you've been using PyCharm or like or similar IDEs that I don't have the run button here and I just used to run my code through Python main Py command I specifically disabled it for this project to basically be more like more informative to you because I can now easily add it but keep in mind you need to add the configuration uh, that has like uh, a Python interpreter from this WANF folder so if I go here 
we got different ones and I need to choose specifically the one that has like I have my jumpy project it, it won't work I need to choose my tile based game project and the path is gonna be to the WENV, to the scripts, to the Python XA. And I choose that and also script pass I obviously choose to my main file because that's the main file that runs everything. I press OK, apply, OK, and now I can run the file. And over here by the way if you basically choose to deactivate, oops, deactivate your virtual environment now this thing still will work. That's because it's already linked to the virtual environment and it does not matter if it's like if it's activated or not. But if you want to run it from your terminal, then you need to be in the virtual environment. Uh, all right, that's I guess that's all there is for practice and using virtual environment. One more thing I can show you is just like the list of all of the files if you want to see them. Here is just like include, we have a pygame file, camera.h, everything h, uh, you can look up what it is because you don't usually need, need include. In the lib we have all of the packages, like, like all of the packages attributes and stuff. And in scripts we have the, as I already told, the activate, went to activate files and Python interpreter copies. And if you saw when I was giving the pass here, I was giving the pass to the scripts to the Python XA. And also, if you want to deinstall a library from your WENV, you need to go to a WENV and type pip deinstall and the library you want to deinstall, or better, sorry, un uninstall. I'm, I'm just not English. Alright, so I guess that's all there is to it. Alright, so that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. This video took an incredible amount of time to make, as you can see by the visuals and like all the information needed. So please give me some feedback. I want it. Because like in my opinion, hard work should be justified. And also leave a comment down below suggesting some idea or asking some question if you got some. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. All the useful links are in the description below, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!